Hello, I'm Haruki Takahashi from Meiji University. I'm going to present programmable filament, a printing technique for mulch material 3D printing using an FDM 3D printer. Advances in 3D printers have been allowing many users to easily print 3D objects. In particular, there more and more use of mulch materials in 3D printing becomes essential for application areas. For example, various colored material allows us to print colorful objects for aesthetics and some special materials have been used to make functional objects. To print objects in mulch materials, hardware must be supported. For example, dual nozzle 3D printer can extrude two filaments in a single printing process. An upgrade kit from Prusa or Palette from Mosaic Manufacturing allows 3D printers to switch filament while printing. Our work allows average users to use the most common machinery, single nozzle 3D printer, for mulch material printing, requiring no hardware modification. Let me walk through our approach step by step. Imagine this printing path, the nozzles move this path, forming a thick wall. Let's insert a filament into the nozzle for both cases. On the left side, it's a unicolor filament in the single nozzle, just as a conventional 3D printing. On the right side, we have a programmable filament. In this case, multiple materials are spliced as several adjacent segments. As printing proceeds with this programmed filament, a pattern appears while the materials switch in a thread of filament as planned, automatically. This is our work, programmable filament. We program a special filament to print it in the filament according to a printing path. By using this filament, a single nozzle 3D printer can print multiple material object in a single shot. In the paper, we describe the programmable filament with these three steps. Here, I only talk about the printing process of the filament. Our idea is inspired by instructable user Das Mir's printing rainbow filament idea. This project shows the possibility of printing filament in a long spiral consists of multiple material segments. We fine-tune this by directly manipulating the Z-code command, utilizing pause command between the segment switch. While pausing, a user exchanges materials for the next segment. As we print each segment in skewed slopes, edges of adjacent segments are joined each other. To utilize the printed filament, we validated it with various 3D printers and materials, added a stitch to enhance the binding strength, and created a flat sheet that helped understand the gradation effect while switching materials in produced filament thread. Based on the properties of a printed filament, we implemented filament design software. This software generates z-code using the list of the lengths and material numbers of each segment. This material number corresponds to the type of the material, such as PLA, ABS. For example, if given length is 10, 10, 10, 50 mm for each segment and material ID of 0, 1, 2, 0, the software can generate a filament consist of 4 segments and 3 materials. As end users are not able to define required parameters, but could easily design the filament if given the input image or 3D object. We also implemented software to process the Z code. This is one example workload to start with 3D object as input. First, using a conventional slicer such as Cure, users can add multiple batch extruders to assign each material. Then the software reads the code and calculate amount of each material needed in printing the final artifact. By importing this into the filament design software, we can obtain a z-code for printing a filament. Using the software, we show various examples with some information. For example, a smartwatch printed in PLA and TPU, a facade of USD logo with clear color distinction, and regular 3D models that are segmented several parts for large color printing. Please refer to our paper for more detail and validation. The result of our work, programmable filament, suggests the outlook of 3D printing in the future. First, with a programmable filament, manufacturers may produce a custom filament on demand, upon a user's request. If users can print a filament, filament data will be shared with a 3D model, so the user can replicate the filament with some variations. Also, our technique proposes users to fabricate a filament with new properties by mixing various filaments in different proportions. There are some limitations. Because we move the printer head in Z direction to print a filament, some extra hardware such as a magnetic stopper and a fan near the extruder may touch and drag previous segment while printing. Also, we found printing failure might occur while using a printed filament with sift pattern or mixed materials. This can be corrected if the monitoring system is integrated. Finally, our techniques build on empirical result to fully utilize the printed filament, further analysis on structure and material properties must be accompanied. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for watching.